Today, guys, we're going to be building a $10 million sports classic garage for Galaxy Inc. in GTA 5. 10 trucks will be here soon with 10 beautiful cars in the back, and we're going to take each and every one of them to the Los Santos Custom Shop, toss some upgrades on it, and put them in this showroom. Obviously, one of them will be behind these beautiful velvet ropes. We have space for eight more beautiful cars right over here, along with two more showcase spots right up at the very front of the dealership. So with that said, I hope you guys go on to enjoy today's video. And without further ado, let's jump into the first car. As you can see, the first truck is arriving at the dealership, and inside the back of this big ass trailer is going to be the beautiful Karen 190Z. If you wanted to purchase it, it'll cost you $900,000, and it is truly a beautiful vehicle. So let's take it straight inside the custom shop and put some upgrades on it. Here is a list of every single upgrade that we put on this vehicle, and I think it looks beautiful. I wanted to keep it nice and simple, and I don't really mess around with the wide body kits for this car because the wheels just don't line up with it, but I really do love the look of it, and I think it looks beautiful with a gray paint job on it. So, since it looks so beautiful, we're definitely gonna have to put this thing up in one of the showcase spots in this dealership. Let me know down below in the comments section what you guys think of this build, and let's jump into the next car. The next car we're taking delivery of is the beautiful Coke Classic. For $665,000, you do get a beautiful vehicle, one of my all-time favorite cars in GTA and in real life. I just wish it had some more modifications. Just because it doesn't have too many doesn't mean you can't make it look good. So let's take it to the custom shop and see what kind of upgrades we could toss on this thing. Once again, here is a whole list of every upgrade we put on the car. There really isn't too many, but I do love the look of it in red, and obviously this design does come from Fast and Furious. Letty's Corvette looks absolutely beautiful and I would probably get one that looks fairly similar to this in real life if not red I'd probably black it out but it is truly a beautiful vehicle and we're gonna park it right in the back corner of this dealership next up is the Grody GT 500 which you could purchase for seven hundred and eighty five thousand dollars this thing is an absolute stunner and it's one of the most rare Ferraris in real life costing millions of dollars so if anybody does own it congratulations you're very lucky but it doesn't have a ton of modifications but we can still make it look beautiful so once again here is a full list of every single upgrade we put on this car there isn't too many but it looks awesome if you wanted to change the paint up i'd also recommend a pure black or a pure white finish but obviously red does still look pretty beautiful and since it is one of the rarest cars in real life and it looks beautiful in game we're gonna have to toss this thing right into our showcase spot behind these velvet ropes because it's just one of those cars that is perfect to showcase off to the world. Next up, we have the Mamba. This thing is beautiful, and if you wanted to buy it, you could get it for $995,000. I do also wish it had more modifications and possibly dual white stripes for a livery because that would look stunning. Sadly, the one we have doesn't look as great, but it still does look pretty cool. Either way, here is all of the modifications we put on it, and I still think it looks freaking awesome. Once again, dual white stripes would have been much, much better than what we have available for this car, but, you know, you gotta live with what you got. Either way, it looks awesome. We're gonna take this thing back to the dealership and jump into the next car. Next up, we have the Michelli GT, which you could buy for $1,225,000. It's a pretty beautiful vehicle, but you really don't see too much of it right at the start. It looks very plain and basic, but it does have a fair bit of upgrades. So with that said, let's take it right into the custom shop. And once again, here is a full list of every upgrade that we tossed on this car. And I think it looks really, really cool, especially with that pure white and that livery we tossed on it, plus those wheels getting added into it. All together, it looks freaking awesome. Let me know what you guys think of this build down below, and let's jump in to the next car. Next up, we have the Rapid GT Classic, which personally I would say looks a lot more like a muscle car, but it is in the sports classics category. You could purchase it for $885,000. And I have to say, I really do like the look of it. Plus, it also has a bunch of awesome modifications you could toss on it. So, here's a list of everything we put on. And I have to say, I think it came out looking pretty damn clean. I really like how Rockstar decides to release classic versions of the cars they've already put into the game. Like the Turismo. There's a Turismo Classic as well. Same with the Cheetah and Cheetah Classic. Really, really like that and hope to see more of that in the future. But either way, the Rapid GT Classic is definitely beautiful. We're going to park this thing right next to the showcase vehicle and jump in to the next car. Next, we have one of my favorite sports classic vehicles, the Turismo Classic, which you could purchase for $705,000. It looks beautiful. It's one of the best sports classic cars to race with, and if you're on current generation consoles, it can be fitted with HSW modifications. This car doesn't really 
really have too many modifications as well, but you really don't need too much more for it. I have to say, it looks beautiful the way it's sitting, and I tend to always customize it the exact same way. Sometimes I'll make a version that is just all white, but it's mainly always red. The Turismo Classic is honestly the complete package. It looks beautiful, its performance is immaculate, and, you know, it's a beautiful Ferrari F40. You really don't need too much more from it, so we have to toss this thing right up into the showcase spot. Let me know what you guys think of it down below, and let's jump into the next car. Next, we have the Fagiloa. Probably pronounced that wrong as well, but you could purchase it for $335,000. And normally, this is the type of car I don't even give a second look to because it just looks really weird. It's just not really my style. But then I brought it over to the custom shop and I was actually pretty surprised. It has a decent amount of upgrades available for it. And honestly, the way I customized it, I was kind of digging it. Like, it doesn't look bad at all. And I think I'm actually going to have to buy one of these in GTA Online now just to have it in my garage because fully blacked out, it looks sick. Every piece of trim on this car is blacked out now, which I really, really like. Either way, let's go park this thing in the dealership and jump into the next car. Next, we have the beautiful Z-Type, which you could purchase for $950,000. This was a very popular car back when GTA first started, but nowadays, you don't see too many people driving it around. So I decided to take more of a modern approach to customizing this vehicle, even though it doesn't have too many modifications, I think it came out looking pretty damn nice, especially with those wheels that I tossed on it. Let me know what you guys think of this down below because honestly I have two Z types in GTA Online right now and I think I'm gonna go customize one exactly like this. Anyways let's park this thing in the dealership as well and jump in to the final car which is gonna be the beautiful Lampadati Casco which you could purchase for $904,400. Once again pretty beautiful looking car. For some of these vehicles though I wish Rockstar did add some more modifications because this thing just doesn't really have too many of them so the way I customized it is honestly one of the only ways you really can and I just completely blacked it out and tossed some nice ass wheels on there and I think it looks really really clean especially from the rear view anyways guys we did it we spent 10 million dollars on a beautiful garage here and I think the cars that we got are pretty damn nice in total we actually only spent about 8.3 million bucks which means that other 1.7 million dollars you could spend on performance upgrades for these vehicles along with armor or you know do whatever you want with it either way exactly what I have here and all of those upgrades you guys saw on screen will cost you about 8.3 million bucks. So with that information, do what you gotta do, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want to see more episodes of this, let me know down below in the comments section what's the budget and what type of cars. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.